So the one of us are testing first the physical and then the academical capability of their recruits? Yes, I buy that. But both biceps has no chance to be a wonderful now. His result at the Wonderful Academy doesn't matter. After what happens at the Rainbow Falls, he's pretty screwed up. Just look at Spitfire's face. I doubt that she sent him to the test if he can't even spell his teammate's name. I love it when an episode has influence on my viewpoint on other episodes. And this one has a lot of influence. Hmm, I'm intrigued. For instance, just listen to the ranks of the Wonder Bulls from the past. Oh, let's party! I'm General Firefly! Gee, my costume is itchy and unattractive, but I'm gonna assemble an awesome party team! I'll call them the Wonder Bulls! Streamlined style by Flair de Mer. Admiral Fairweather. Colonel Purple Dart! Admiral Fairy Flight! General Flash! Commander Easy Glider! And then we have Spitfire. But Spitfire, captain of the Wonderbolt. You don't have to be on military duty to notice that all the ranks are higher than Spitfires. Well, except for the US Navy. But that makes Commander Easy Glider the only exception. Well, I give it a whoa, whoa, what? I'm totally confused. To put it easy, with all the high military ranks over the centuries, it's most likely that the general or admiral leads the Wonderbolts today. Which means, Captain Spitfire do not choose the next Wonderbolt. She just... Separating the good from the bad. No amount of impressing her, Fleetfoot or Thorin will get Rainbow Dash any closer to be a Wonderbolt. Even if it would turn out that the Wonderbolts are just a sports team, they have a military tradition. And tradition is something very important to the ponies. And the Pegasi has a very long military tradition. Pegasus, Commander Hurricane. I get it. I wouldn't want to hang out with a loser like me either. Yeah. Whoa. Looks like some pony's got a dark cloud hanging over her head. Let me do something about that. What's the. So clouds react to the mood of ponies? Don't let Pinkie Pie figure that out. Speaking of Pinkie Pie, guess who is a visionary inventor? Industrial Revolution in Equestria. Pedal Drive Helicopter, created by Pinkie Pie. All this world building is just stunning. I feel I have forgot something. Oh, yeah, an actual analyze of the plot of the episode. I suggest you put down your silly cards of flash, but I know that they cannot help our good friend Rainbow Dash. Besides the world building and great character interaction between the main six, especially Rainbow Dash and Twilight, there's not much to the episode, but it keeps you entertained for the whole ride. A point that could be made against this episode is that Rainbow Dash don't know anything about the Wonder Bros history, but that's actually something I can relate to. I want to become part of the Brony Analysis group. Even so, I don't know anything about this group besides their performance, in this case, their videos. And even so, I have some problems with some of their methods, this doesn't change anything about it. That's a topic for another project, but there is something in this episode that irks me. Why, for police sake, doesn't Rainbow even try to learn after she figured out that she's going to fail the test? I'm gonna fail! I'm gonna fail! And it's all your fault! My fault? I'm the one helping you! Maybe your famous study methods aren't all they're cracked up to be, eh, teacher? In Sonic Rainbow, Rainbow Dash at least trains before she blames others for her disadvantage. Here, she just jumps at Twilight. A little montage where she tries to learn after the revelation of her failure. And everything would be fine. Give inventive and- <gasps> Hey! I know well, that leads to another problem. This episode is actually a Twilight episode in disguise. There are two conflicts in this episode. Rainbow Dash is not able to learn and Twilight has to learn how to teach. Rainbow Dash has to shoulder the whole episode. But who learns the moral at the end? Twilight. I 
needed to learn something just as important. One way of learning isn't better than another. After all, every pony is unique and individual. Learning one day before the test and getting 100%, this ending is overused and boring and too clean. I hate too clean endings. There are good endings, there are bad endings, and there are too clean endings. A good example for this is Racket Wealth. Penelope gets everything she wants. She can be part of the game, she is a driver, but why to the heck has she to become a princess? This is the kind of ending I don't like. And for this episode, why not simply put a PATH stamp on it? For Rainbow Dash it would have the same effect. Ok, what's now coming hurts a little to say. But this episode made me want to see more episodes like Rainbow Falls. And to say that to this episode is pretty unfair. But this is the fourth time Rainbow Dash lose faith in her abilities. It's like Philly Vanilli when Fluttershy cries and cries and cries and you just think snap out of it. Unlike Sonic Rainbow, Mysterious Madwell or Dang Don't, testing testing 1, 2, 3 has no moment of awesomeness for Rainbow Dash. And I think the conflict for Rainbow Dash is in Rainbow Falls better executed than here. Struggling is not a bad thing, but I wonder when we will see her again cocky, arrogant and self-confident. Where is the day I turn in my daredevil license? Yeah, well, you, you, you are such a, a flip-flop. Cool one minute and lame the next. When you decide not to be lame anymore, give me a call. 